Tonight, an Olympia woman is using her own harrowing experience as a victim of human trafficking to try to get help to Nigeria. King 5's Heather Graff is live in satellite control with a survivor's call for change. Well, it is a story that's gaining international attention and one we've been monitoring all day long. But the woman you're about to meet, for her, the images now coming out of Nigeria are both personal and painful to see. I was born in southern part of India, and at the age of seven, I was stolen and kidnapped from my mother and sold into slavery. I mean, I was very traumatized. You can see the beatings, the scars on my arms and legs, and the abuse that has happened. When a child is used as a commodity and sold into slavery, everything about them is ripped away. The master is in control. In my case, he was in control of me, and they just abuse you. They torture you, beat you, and abuse you just so you can submit to the will of, will of the master. Today, I speak for those without the voice. I want action now, and I want to know answers on what is being done to protect and rescue 276 girls from Nigeria. Help the Nigerian government, but put pressure on the government to do something. We simply cannot sit back and let them say, oh, they're just girls, little girls being sold. We cannot stand for that. And it seems a lot of people agree with her. The hashtag bring back our girls is now trending globally on Twitter. And we're seeing tweets come in every minute from all over the world. Ronnie Hong tells me she's pushing this social media campaign, but she is not stopping there. She also runs a nonprofit that seeks to end human trafficking. We've put a link to that nonprofit over on king5.com if you want to check it out. And she says she'll use every connection she has to try to get help to Nigeria. We are live from Satellite Control, Heather Graff, King 5 News.